A growing political crisis, rising unemployment and an economy struggling to emerge from the longest recession in its recent history. Tough challenges that are facing Italy today. As Italians woke up on Tuesday to face a hike in the sales tax, another grim figure greeted them. The number of people out of work once again rose. Worst affected are its youth. The number of younger people out of work rose to just over 40 percent, the first time that it has done so in the past 70 years. And many here are angry that it is the political system that is letting everybody down. Politicians care only about their own business. Maybe they live on Mars and not on this earth. They do not realize what is going on around them, and that's why there's this drama. Young people are taking the worst of it. I have a degree, and I have been looking for a job in the last three months, but I found nothing. They don't let young people into the job market. Much of the instability here has been blamed on the corruption that has been afflicting the country for decades. Now, Italians are wearily used to this sort of thing. And they see the current turmoil as being the very latest in a long, long line of crises that have come to define Italian politics. Italy's politicians have a decidedly bad reputation. They are often derided and always criticized. None more so than former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, who through his business and media ventures has been a dominant force in the country for two decades. Despite all the scandals that he's been involved in, he's managed to stay in the game. Every other week we have a sort of apocalypse now in politics. It's, it's, and of course, uh, Berlusconi is trying hard to play, to play court you know, that he doesn't want to give up. When you have that, uh, either you take a sort of philosophical, artistic approach, or you just, uh, you know, you start crying. We don't want to cry. But even in his power base, Milan, people feel it's time for him to retire from public life, especially since his decision to pull his party's ministers from the cabinet provoked another round of uncertainty. As Prime Minister Enrico Letta faces a vote of confidence in Parliament on Wednesday, the pressure is on to resolve the current malaise as soon as possible. Italy's political problems have been affecting its economy. But even if Mr. Letta wins approval, the question remains, will its political caste be able to control a situation that could see Italy sliding out of control once again? Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Milan.